All right, welcome back. We are following breaking news right now. 843 on a busy Monday morning. The commute snarled because of protesters shutting down lanes across the Golden Gate Bridge. Both directions completely shut down right now, north and southbound. You're looking at one of our live cameras here, kind of situated towards that north end of the bridge where traffic is just at a standstill. For anyone commuting out of Vernon County, expect a lot of delays. Use the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. Use ferries as an alternate to get into San Francisco because right now the Golden Gate Bridge is unavailable. Let's show you the toll plaza and anyone who makes this ride across Marin County. I know you travel across the Golden right. Gate Bridge, Reed, and look at this. No cars working their way through there. And we've been showing you these protests that are, you know, in effect, shutting down many Bay Area bridges this morning for the last hour or so. And the protesters reportedly are out there once again sending a message that they feel like the United States is complicit with what is going on in Gaza. And so this is a coordinated effort reportedly launched on Instagram this morning that mm -hmm. called for protesters to go out. But Gianna, as you've shown us mm -hmm. over there on the other uh, stretch closer to Oakland, 880. 880, it's been really a precarious situation because those protesters came and they were ready. This shows that they planned this because they've chained themselves to barrels there. We don't know right now how they're shutting down the Golden Gate Bridge, but we are going to our chopper shot, and that actually might reveal the scene there. That's giving us a better perspective, and you can see all the activity there, and it looks a little different than what we're seeing over at the Golden Gate. Hard to tell, but I can see a banner there across the span there. They're holding up a banner over towards 880. They actually have those barrels in the roadway, but yeah, you can see that there are people standing in lanes. Looks like they're using their cars yeah. mm -hmm. as barricades this morning on the Golden Gate Bridge, and there's a lot of activity there on scene. So arguably that should be easier to clear, but you know, you see right there, the bridge police are on the road there, but we don't have a huge police presence over there on the Golden Gate Bridge because so many police are over on the 880 right now dealing with that situation. So we continue to watch this this morning. So many cars backed up. This is that video we got in at the 880 right there. This is what appears to be, Gianna, the most difficult situation. Those protesters, like we say, they chain themselves to those large mm -hmm. barrels. And not only chain themselves to the barrels, it looked like at one point there was an apparatus where their arms were connected inside the barrel. So you can't just go cut the chains off because they actually have their limbs tied together within the barrels side by side. And aren't we hearing that there is a possibility that the barrels themselves could be secured to the concrete there, making it a really difficult task for law enforcement to remove those barrels. Yeah, and it's been out there for over two hours now. So whatever they have set up there is really hard for anyone to get that off the freeway. And, you know, this is shutting down 880, the Nimitz Freeway. This is a huge, huge commute for a lot of people and not just for people going to work and going to school, but this freeway is also used for a lot of big rigs, a lot of larger trucks carrying goods, maybe to the port of Oakland. And that because of that, you're seeing a lot of cars out there stuck behind these big rigs. And now they're letting big rigs use 580 as an alternate because they can't move here. This is a live look near the Coliseum and traffic is just a standstill. If you're trying to even make the commute from 238 to maybe squeeze through there to get to say maybe over towards the, you know, San Mateo Bridge out of Hayward, that's really backed up. It's over two hours to work your way through there. All right, and taking a live look at the Golden Gate Bridge from Chopper 5, once again, you can see the back up there over the water. That bridge suspended over the water and over the bridge, we have people who are arguably on their way to work. As we saw when uh, this happened before in November at the Bay Bridge, people were on their way to doctor's appointments. This is a serious situation when traffic is at a standstill on multiple Bay Area bridges. You have to wonder, Gianna, if these protesters aren't aware and maybe in fact a little emboldened to know that when this happened back in November, according to reporting in the San Francisco Standard, 80 protesters who in that case called for a ceasefire in Gaza, they were charged, but of those 78 accepted uh, a little bit of a deal there. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they didn't really have to do much. In fact, some people say they only were uh, ordered to do community service, five hours of community service. Did that incentivize more protests like these that bring 
the Bay Area and transit on a Monday morning yeah, to a standstill? It's a big question this morning. Yeah, and you're seeing that. a very coordinated effort in right. this happening on multiple ma and not in major thoroughfares for people like the Golden Gate Bridge, like 880. Even Vern Glenn, our sports director here, is stuck in some of this backup. I think he just sent us some video. Can we show that right now? Show what Vern is actually on his way to work this morning, just like so many people in our community. And look at all of this traffic. This is southbound 101 one trying to get into San Francisco and you know it's not easy to exit on and off the freeways once you get to a certain point past Sausalito trying to get across the Golden Gate Bridge so just trying to get these cars moving and maybe diverted in the opposite direction so they can get out of this traffic is not going to be an easy task. Well and you can see the truck to the left of what Vern is shooting there this looks to be in the Marin Headlands area mm -hmm. right before going into the Robin Williams Tunnel that looks to be an emergency responder because that front light was blinking so quickly. So they're having a difficult time getting over there as well. Once again, you are seeing uh, continuing coverage of now two Bay Area thoroughfares blocked completely by people who say they are, because of their sign, stopping the world for Gaza. Protesters here in the Bay Area, in fact, there's one right there taking a selfie perhaps even live streaming this. We know that social media was the way, at least on one platform, that they coordinated this. And now hundreds of cars in two areas of the bay, going up into the North Bay, headed into the city, then up in the East Bay, headed into the city, Shut down, Gianna. And keep in mind, we haven't even seen arrests happen. We mm. don't see tow trucks coming. I mean, this could go on. If you go back to the Bay Bridge protest for an hour or so, or so more here, Gianna. And that's what concerns me, Nicole. We saw this happen during the APEC conference across the Bay Bridge. I mean, really messing up traffic for several hours. And this is also concerning for people just trying to start their day and get out and about. And now you're looking live at 880 and how far the backup is here. But just people trying, like you said, get to doctor's appointments or important places mm -hmm. they need to be this morning. So just this effort of shutting down these freeways, impacting hundreds and hundreds of people just trying to start their day on a Monday. And that backup is just only going to grow as people try to get to work and school this morning. You can see here, this is a live look near the Coliseum. So right around Hegenberger and right around that area. So if you ever travel at 80, that's a pretty good distance from there all the way towards just before 980, where the protesters are staged, chained to those barrels. And what I think is interesting about the 80 protest is we saw earlier it looks like Caltrans was brought in the orange vest there probably to troubleshoot here there's the picture of it there to troubleshoot how to clear up whatever is happening with these barrels well and we've also seen sparks fly quite literally there on the 880 as they use those giant saws to try to cut the chains off the barrels and so going in closer right there you do see some police presence but by and large, it looks like police are outnumbered by several protesters who are out there. So this then speaks to police procedure, what to do, uh, and how to even get to these areas. The truck is there, and we saw earlier at least one of the barrels cut free. But, John, I think we saw three or four barrels with protesters chained to them earlier. So they're still not done, and traffic is still shut yeah. down in that direction. Yeah, and, you know, right before this started, there was a crash in and around that area. It, it, I'm, I'm wondering, and it'll be interesting to find out how they were able to sort of slow down vehicles along 880 to make this happen and to set up their staging area and to get those barrels out there because right around that time is when traffic really gets busy, and it's obviously incredibly unsafe to be out of your car on any of our major freeways or on any roadway like that. So just just for that to happen had to be really difficult for any vehicles or any cars traveling through that area for safety reasons and now just being stuck in this backup really for over two hours now at least two hours plus just to commute from say that 238 connector as you head over towards that Bay Bridge area and you know the traffic impact is different too because we're not seeing a big impact at the Bay Bridge because all of the cars that were heading there off of that 880 approach are stuck on the roadways there. You are watching continuing coverage of protesters shutting, shutting down uh, in various ways, several thoroughfares now here in the Bay Area. The Bay Area continuing to live up to its reputation for being a place where protesters make their voices heard. This time protesters at the Golden Gate Bridge and over there at the 880 causing havoc and saying that they want all of our eyes on the situation in Gaza and Palestine. Continuing coverage throughout the morning here on your community station, CBS Bay Area.